to all right, I want to go straight from here to the Okay, Miltris. You were shooting for that. You definitely want to go Miltris. Uh, let's see here. Xenophage, wait, you can purge aliens, you can enslave aliens. This is another one we want. <laughs> uh, egalitarian, uh, fanatic, which is a democratic government. Spiritualist. Ooh, I'm not even wanting myself. I think majority of this is not even surveyed, I'm just gathering them to Yeah, so I think every single turn I'm gathering them to What? Well, okay, yeah, yeah. Guys. Yes, okay, here, pause. Because it's not letting me build the side of this. You know, why on earth did I just do that? Why did I just do that? That was a terrible idea. Cause... I don't have enough energy. And I'm not selling all that. So, I think what we should get here first and foremost is the shipyard. If that's the case, then oh, God. Construction complete. I'm just always feeling as if though what's gonna have end up happening. This is just gonna be the fact that our primary goal of today is going to be outside expansion. Our primary goal is going to be expanding military power. That's what I want to do more than anything else right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take control of this system here. But I'm so curious about this. Scientist's present has one sign. So what I need to do is first things first is I want to go ahead and get myself a fresh science ship. So go ahead and just research that because that's going to go ahead and possibly get us some quality. I have 10 ships in request. My goal here is just like figure out how the hell I'm going to build them. I guess I just go ahead and just say screw it and just start building. 
Yeah, I think that's why I just do not actually transfer the ship over. Uh, if anyone can look that up for me and give me some details, that'll be fantastic. Uh, so what I want to go ahead and get on is definitely upgrading our military power. Because again, we are basically going to be space Nazis. I know that sounds bad, but I don't care. We're already 80% of the way here, so that's good. Okay, game, make up your mind. Oh my god, okay, so... <sighs> yeah, internet crashed throughout my house briefly there. As for that one, and this construction ship can't really do much of anything either, so we're just gonna keep it here for uh, defense. Essentially, right now, both the construction ships that just can't do anything are gonna be utilized as uh, uh, human shields for the time. Nah, I just kind of disbanded. Yeah, so I just completely wasted the entire ship. So that was a hundred uh, alloys. Complete concern because the stream is currently pulled up on another laptop of mine and it's like severely crashing, basically. And I'm concerned because I don't want to lose the stream and have to restart all over again. So our population is two. So it's actually not bad. So there's a slow growth. Again, guys, I am I, I do feel kind of bad. Because like this. I don't know, I, I just I just feel bad. Like I, I this is not what I wanted to do. Uh but nonetheless we are here. We are doing it and we're just gonna try our best. Keep having fun. I hate the fact that this thing just does not want to. I'm just, I'm just waiting to see another player, another uh, species to be encountered. I know they're out there. I'm just waiting for it. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, it's just built. Uh. Oh, okay, uh, was, I think those are our defenses. Oh no, this is, uh, this is our defense fleet. Yeah, our, def our joint exposition fleet just You colony ship, okay, the patrol remains have been found in orbit of a side or two. The initial analysis conducted by J.R. Jelt. Even cruiser sized yacht ships will typically crew by only one or two individuals given the immense size of their bodies with this. Fasten. So what I'm going to do is uh, this. Oh, God, that's up 10%. Stability does go up by five, though. Oh, but our starbase capacity does go up by two. Mm. Uh, I'm very nervous. I'm nervous to do any of that. So is fashion to our like your empire. I'm Yeah, see, so I'm just worried about that. But if I go ahead and do map the stars, our survey speed goes up. Our discovery chances go up, which means more research, which means more weapon development. Which means we can further I, I say we go ahead and roll with this. Oh. Oh, wait a second. 
But uh, yeah, uh, crap. Yeah, crap. Um. I mean, most of it is standing with me and the Gordanian Superiority Party. So, my entire plan for tonight kind of just fell apart because I decided to go ahead and be stupid and go with edicts, which I should not have done at all. See, we went up by one, but we still need 21 more, so we can either play for a collective another 21 months. Which, this is most likely going to be done within like two or three. Uh, I guess we could go ahead and check out Mistis. Yeah, we still have 30 months left on that. Okay, energy overload edict. I don't have that. Uh, our allies, our allies are slowly going up. Uh, and our energy cost is slowly going up, so that's good. Honestly, hey, okay, sweet. Typhon is fully. It's now our objective of today. <clears throat> it's going to be pushing into this sector right here so which means then we should be able to go ahead and fully expand so right now we just gotta wait on the population here i'm happy that the game immediately resumed and immediately saved <laughs> uh that's that's great i love that really can't so right now everything we got going on now literally just bangs 100% on this system and this research project, which we have a year left. Yes, yes, I am aware. Because we are going to be going down so much because we don't have enough to produce. We are also going to be going down because we have two, we don't have enough energy so we can't really expand the star bases. And yeah, Imperial Sprawl just went up by two, I think. So yeah, <laughs> this is great. You know, we're not even been streaming for 20 minutes and already I'm on the verge of collapse. <laughs> oh, oh, that's really not good. It just went down by a bottle rocket. Fun expansion. I'm just wanting to see what happens with this next month because month's almost up and we are, in a day, so is that gonna go down? Uh, no, okay, thank god, not change. But still, though, the fact that we're losing energy is not good. I, I need to find a way we can go ahead and... That's not what I wanted. I need to find us a way where I can go ahead and get us more energy and fat. Uh... For defense fleet, we're gonna limit your ship size down by three. Yeah, it's it's a hard decision, but it's the only one I can really think of. We're also gonna go ahead and disband one of these defense platforms. Yeah, we'll disband one of that. Oh my god. Uh, Typhoon Station here is already pretty well packed. There's not much I can really do with that. Yeah, this is just a massive trading hub, so unless I disband something like that. Okay, no, we're back in the we're back in the green. We're back in the green, boys. Back in the green. 
Whew. Okay. Uh, let's see. Creation projects. Advanced AI will aid science efforts on the task to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life, new civilizations. Ah, uh, let's go. That's good. Okay, so, uh... Uh... We'll do this. Next. Okay, so we, we are back in our green. Thank God. So another eight months left there. Whew! Okay, so yeah, killing those two ships definitely did help us. Here we go. Okay, mysterious efforts on Ilya had been revealed. A detailed survey revealed the moon is slightly lopsided, with a far side of the moon having disproportionately large share of the total mass. The reason for this, we believe, is that errors. Uh, language, Ephenron's 3A, once orbited another planet, which was destroyed in a climatic explosion. The extra thickness bone on the far side of this planetoid's moon is because of that was the side on which they faced the original planet. And, uh, the, uh, I swear I can talk. I swear I can English. I can English. Uh, uh, was knocking it out of orbit and sending it eventually to the orbit of Mistis. We speculate that the planet was destroyed by a weapon or perhaps just on to create a power source based on dark matter, as there are high concentrations of a planetary material coating the moon. Fascinating. I'm honestly now just wondering, should I just go ahead and just start building, like, two more ships? Chat, what do you think? Think I should just go for the money? Should I just, like, buy a few more ships? Hmm. Ship? Alright, ship it is. Uh, we're gonna go for a light core. We're gonna go for the Ersk. Here. We're only going to invest in one. We're only investing in one. Because I want to know what this does to my overall energy cost. Go ahead and start adopting the either... Oh no, we need supremacy adaption. So what we'll do is we'll adopt this. Yeah. So yeah, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and like adopt this, go at it. Yes, yeah, there we go, because now we're up to another two. So that's great. That's fantastic. So, uh, looking at the energy cost here, our stations bring in, the, our, st uh, our starbase bring in only 17, but I know for a fact that the second I bring in one more, it's going to up that. So it may just be at some point we go ahead and like sell a lot of our food and a lot of our alloy, which I think I'm just gonna end up doing real quick. We could sell over a thousand food, but I'd rather not go outside. Yeah, yeah, Snake. I could look. I could go outside. I could. I could get up, walk outside. We could end the stream right here. You know. I appreciate your dry wit humor. Truly, I do. <laughs> here we go. There we go. Uh, yeah. No, we have more than enough minerals. So there we go. That's what we should. That's what we need to do, chat. That's what we need to do. We need to go ahead and start uh, building up city districts in general. Let's go. All right. I'm feeling good, chat. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like we accomplished something here. 
uh, was right. So this is just gonna be the mining district. Uh, what are we doing right now on our? Okay, so I think the primary objective is going to be for the next couple of streams is going to be like ceasing military expansion no matter how much i want to be like warmongering space nazis uh that's not going to be an efficient economical system for the time being for the time being we will become space nazis later <laughs> uh what we're going to do now is focus on development of the colonies because we want to get generator districts up so we can up our energy mining districts so we can go ahead and up our mineral expansion so we have more of that island factory so we can go ahead and continue to produce that stuff and more city districts so that way our housing can continue to increase so therefore we won't have an overpopulation issue oh how are we doing oh sweet look at that uh generator went up so that's great although i don't know why planetary production went down from two to one that, it's very disconcerting Yeah, because that one down to seven now. Oh, this generator is going to be completed in literally 25 days, so we'll see. Uh, decisions, decisions time. What should we build next on the colonies? What type of district? No, what, what should we build next? I leave this entirely up to you. <sighs> and it shot the plus seventeen. You guys know what this means? It means we can rebuild our fleet. We're just gonna go ahead and build like two ships. That means we can rebuild our fleet, gang. Uh, what type of districts can be built again? Oh, so basically what we have in our district, we have C districts, which, uh, let me look here. City districts are basically going to be like upgrading our trade value uh, and amenities, like such as like hollow theaters, architecture, stuff like that. We have our generator districts, which is going to give us more energy costs because, you know, hey, we were in the red for the longest time in the stream and now we're up to plus nearly 20. So we're doing great. There's our mining districts, which allows us to go ahead and get more minerals, which means. And then our agriculture, which is more food reserves. Either way, uh, we are going to be going ahead and gathering up more of our goddamn empire sprawl because we're too big for our own good and the game just does not want us to upgrade our max capacity which is really starting to annoy me what like one mining center that's weird is it gonna get like a research center there we go let's do research instead i already got an upgrade science so this uh so what was i on so yes no a plus 16 because i just built uh several different ships but that's no big deal But I also just want to say screw it because we're already going to have colonies get generating massive amounts of energy. So I don't know. You know, screw it. It's worth it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say screw it. was going to upgrade this. So we got about a year's time. Yeah, this, this energy production cost is going down every month. <coughs> I'm consuming more and more. I need to go ahead and find a way to go ahead and up that soon. Honestly, I think that generator uh, district may have been a really good call. Yeah, because that's producing 16. So, uh, hopefully by the end of this month, we can see that jump. Uh, planetary satisfaction, though, is the only... Uh, that's not good. Oh well. 
Uh, and that jump scare, isn't that gonna be it? Yes! Oh, oh my god, yes, there was a jump. <laughs> oh my god. Well, look at that, plus 19, almost plus 20. Be all kept. So that's a little tedious and annoying, but hey, you know what, for the time being, we'll take it. We're still adding 18 every single month to overall energy reserves. We're doing just fine. How's this going? Oh, sweet. We'll be done in literally one day. Oh, look at that. Merry Christmas. Ah, uh, Merry fucking Christmas. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to have a missile battery front, and for this one, we're going to have our anchorage. Oh yeah, no, that just dropped. Oh my god, that just dropped from 19 to plus 5. Okay, we're going to stop right there then. You know what? We are literally just going to call it a night there, chat. I don't want to push my luck anymore. I know this was the shortest stream of Solaris, but I think this is where we need to end it for tonight. Just because of the fact of how much we got done. You know, hey, we now know how colonies properly work. We expanded the territory. Uh, energy was just fluxed left and right a lot this stream like insanely a lot but at the end of the day uh you know hey this was a good stream uh we did a lot of good things here so gonna take us several years for both all of this holy shit but you know what it's well worth it